Good morning and welcome to ForexTV.com's AM Forex New York. Today is Thursday, March 6th. I'm Caitlin Sisney. The pound strengthened after the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee left its key bank rate on hold at 5.25%. Sterling is trading at 199.96. The dollar weakened against 13 of the 16 most active currencies on speculation and industry report on home sales will spur Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke to further lower to, uh, the target interest rate. The euro rose to a record against the dollar on speculation the European Central Bank will keep its key interest rate at the highest in more than six years today, while the Federal Reserve reduces borrowing costs. Euro is trading at 153.29. Meanwhile, yen is trading at 103.47. On today's economic data front, government data due out is forecast to show that initial claims filed for unemployment benefits fell last week after jumping to the highest level since late January in the previous period. The report comes a day before the widely anticipated employment report. The National Association of Realtors will release its pending home sales data. Traders may look to this uh, index to see if the housing slump is nearing a bottom. Analysts are predicting that sales of previous, uh, previously owned homes fell in January for a third month. Today we're joined by Joseph Francomano from Ersta Bank. Joseph will give his outlook for the Forex market. Good morning, this is Joe Francomano at Ersta Bank. Um, today the focus is of course on the ECB and their uh, uh, decision on interest rates, which is imminent. Um, it is widely expected that the ECB will uh, hold rates steady at um, 4%. However, the uh, the major question is the statement uh, or Trichet's uh, press conference uh, to follow at 8.30. Um, it is assumed um, that uh, the ECB will remain um, focused on fighting on fighting um, inflation. However, uh, it is also assumed that there is going to be heightened risk about the uh, uh, risk for growth going forward, and also uh, concerns about the strengthening of the euro. Um, this is the uh, the tricky part of the day because of parsing what. Um, what Trisha has to say and seeing where the um, focus of the ECB lies. Is it going to be on the downside risk of growth or is it going to be on the upside risk of inflation? Also, you know, there's going to be some question, of course, about how tolerant the ECB is of a strong euro. Of course, a strong euro is a, an inflationary hedge and in this age where oil today now is at a record high above 105 and with gold, of course, just shy of $1,000 an ounce. Um, you know, there are inflationary pressures, however, the strong currency does act as an inflation hedge. On the other side of the coin, we also had the Bank of England this morning leaving rates unchanged at five and a quarter percent. Um, this was widely expected. The pound has gotten a boost out of this. There is significant um, technical resistance right now in the pound against the dollar between 199.75 and, uh, and an option barrier at the uh, two level. Um, I expect if the euro continues to strengthen after the ECB conference that sterling will uh, rise in accord with that. Um, the other side today, we're looking at dollar yen. Dollar yen uh, failed to, uh, to hold above 104 yesterday. Um, we are now opening at 103.50, which is around the same level that we were at yesterday morning. However, the fact that we were able to rally one big figure yesterday to up to 104, 104.20 or so and fail, I think is very telling um, heading into tomorrow's, um, which is <laughs> increasingly looking like dour um, U.S. employment report. Yesterday we had the ADP number come in at, I believe, negative 23,000. Um, there's whispers that the number that the tomorrow's non-farm payroll could be as low as negative 77,000. Um, the idea now is the market is starting to lower their targets. Um, the consensus had been for a report somewhere above 25 to 40,000 as far as uh, adding new payrolls, but it's growing more and more likely that the number could be very negative, and if so, um, this could be very, very serious for the dollar tomorrow. All in all, it seems the best thing to do today is to uh, look to buy euro dips, assuming that nothing uh, tumultuous comes out of the uh, ECB press conference, and uh, looking to sell dollar and higher. Good luck. Thank you, Joseph. That's all for your AM Forex New York. I'm Caitlin Sisney. Join us again later for another update right here on ForexTV.com. <laughs>